What's up, YouTube? I want to show you guys about this MPPT solar charge controllers. Well, this particular one right here is a good one, if you ask me, but it's not a lot of videos on it. And I'm sorry if the um, area is too pretty much dark, but I try my best to show some light here. It's dark in my area. But, um... It's not a lot of videos on this particular MPPT solar charge controller. So I'm going to try my best here to show you guys how to properly work it and understand the functions of it and show you guys what I got going on with my hookup here and what you can do with this solar charge or any other solar charge that you have in any other brand that you own. And um, if you don't have enough solar panels to um, charge your batteries which you can do temporarily to pretty much you know get you through until you get your next solar um, your solar panel for your um, next battery to be charged individually separately from one another so um, this particular solar charge right here the MPPT um, like I said it's not a lot of videos on it so I'm going to show you guys so pretty much it's hooked up but my batteries are not 100% my batteries, um, they're they're like new old or new other. I I spent a lot of money for them, but during my um hookup, I was um pretty much not being careful and I arced them out, pretty much short circuit them, and now it has a um pretty much a dead cell on. So I got another battery on the way, but as of right now, I can run my lights, I can watch TV, I can do um pretty much what you do in the home of your, you know, in in your local area. I can do pretty much all that here. But um, this solar charge controller is pretty simple. And a lot of you guys want to know how to use it. So this is how you use it. So as you can see, I'm getting 13.8 volts from my solar can charge. And I'm using 0 amps right now. You can see that right there. 0.0, .0 amps and 13.8 volts. And the solar controllers are currently putting in 1.7 amps. And... Um, this is pretty much the uh, discharge percentage right here at the bottom and the time right there. And um, if you pretty much press this button one time, you can see that the uh, universal control is blinking. And if you want to pretty much use the universal control, that's pretty much the, um, the system of this MPPT controller is automatically figuring out what kind of battery you have or what type of battery you're using and it's going to pretty much do its own thing and make it charge correctly but you can have manual functionalities down here to change them up such as again once you press this button and you can move it down to manual you can move it down to timing you can move it down to test but that's pretty much nothing you can use but when you're using the charging method right here or this option right here you can pretty much leave everything off when you're using that option when you're using straight charging do not use anything it's going to use everything what it can from the solar panels to put into your batteries while the sun is up and you know what i mean sending you a decent charge with no interruptions so when um you're using the charging options you can notice that everything is in the uh, display area is pretty much turned off such as the light the light indication that will be over here will be turned off meaning that you cannot use anything on your load option right here i don't have anything hooked up on my load because um i currently using two separate solar charge controllers and i will tell you guys later about this in pretty much another video but <clears throat> I'm using this one here for my TV, my fan, and my microwave. And I'm using this one right here for my lights only. And you can see that my batteries are pretty much down to a minimum 11.6. I don't know if you guys can see that. 11.6 volts, which is pretty low. That's what I mean. It has a dead cell. And I don't have an extra solar panel to charge that. So what I did was, uh, some of you guys might not, might not know this, but... Some of you guys might do know this, but be careful when I tell you this. But if you got a 12-volt battery, I'm using a 12-volt battery. Um, it's 
pretty much better than the one I'm using on this particular solar charge controller. But if you use, instead of using your solar controller wire to go to a solar control, I mean a solar panel, you can use the wires instead and bring it down to the battery terminal side on your other solar controller and pretty much use the voltage from the battery you're getting from your uh, solar controller you're currently using that's charging one battery to use energy that's going into, I mean, from the solar controller to that one battery to push energy or current into the other battery. Now, if you guys don't understand what I'm saying, I'm going to slowly say this one more time. <coughs> Excuse me. If you guys do not have another solar panel and temporarily wants to figure out how to charge another battery you can hook everything up but if you're using one solar one solar panel you can take these wires here from the solar panel side of this solar controller and bring it down to the battery side of your other solar controller and hook the positive and negatives up in the, the correct area and you will start getting the charge to the other battery now, what's going on is the solar panels that wherever you got them hooked up at is getting um, a charge from the solar panels you're currently using going to the first battery. And while that battery is charging, it's pushing energy into the other battery at the same time. Now, is it a fast charge? I don't know. Is it a minimal charge? Yes, it is a minimal charge. You're still getting the charge, but you're still getting a slow charge in your main battery you're using for your main source of power. You know, um... I'm not that good at explaining everything, but I hope I explained that the best way I can. But back to this MPPT um, solar charge controller before I end this video. Like I said, if you guys are going to use the option to just charge, to use the just charging option, make sure you're not using anything to interrupt this charge, such as turn all your power auxiliary off. Nothing should be on. No lights if you got anything hooked up on the load side. Well, this... On the, on, on the charging option, it's going to automatically turn off your load. But once you go back to um, your universal or wherever you want to put it at, I put mine on universal control because it, it gives me the, um, the ability to use the load and anything I need to pretty much get from the battery. So um, universal control is pretty much pretty much automatic find out what kind of battery you're using from this this charge controller device it's going to figure it out its own but if you want to use it on manual if you want to figure out things manually by yourself without it doing it doing its own thing i recommend using it on universal control and um i know that this um video probably sucks on the quality but this is my camera, but I just want to let you guys know when you're using this, use it on universal control and you get the best performance out of this thing. There's no need to um, pretty much figure out anything else. Just put it on you, universal control and you'll be good from there. But um, if you want to get the most out of the sunlight and get the fast charge capability as much as you can, you can put it on charge only option. And or if you hold down the, um, the menu button, you pretty much see it go to the time and you can set the time, but I'm not going to set the time. Or you can hold the um, the down arrow key and it'll pretty much go to your high voltage and you can set it to where you want it. You could go to low voltage and you can set that to where you want it. But um, I'm not going to pretty much mess with any of that. I'm going to leave it on pretty much universal and leave everything where it's pretty much at. Right now, I got my high voltage set to 14.8 um, volts because I'm using two batteries right now and I want to get the most out of the sunlight from the panels so while I'm getting my 12 hours of sunlight it's going to push as much power into my next battery to run my lights at night as much as I can so if you guys can understand that go ahead and hit that like button and if you guys want to know what this is this came from another um, power inverter and it pretty much burned out on me so i took this um indication light out of here so just in case my battery voltage was to drop down i would see it right here before i would see it on the um the solar controller device and sometimes i don't want to get up and press a button and see where my battery is at pretty much on the device itself and right now you guys can see that it's full right there in the top corner let me see 
see it right there in the top left corner battery is full and over here battery is full this is coming off of one battery so if this battery was to lose one voltage or drop low i would see this one light pretty much disappear and it'll let me know how much battery i have left if you guys like my hookup go ahead and smash that like button this is um a mppt video review if you guys can't find another video out there on this particular solar charger controller device you you see it right here on open my entertainment i got other videos i want to show you guys about the way how i got things hooked up here in this rv but if you guys like this video once again smash that like button and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out man you know what i mean i always got something different coming up and stay tuned if you guys are still into my motorized bicycles i got more of those videos coming soon it's just i got a lot going on but if you guys love my videos just stay tuned man i'll be back later you guys ride safe out there too have a nice day